Good evening my cheeky brodies, it's ya boy MLG Daniel Sensei. Today we'll make the dankest loading bar in C++, get your fingers ready. Mom Spaghetti, XD. First start a new console project, name it loading bar or something. Now we have this default template. And it is time to say goodbye. Declare the header file, windows.h. Another header file, std, io.h, definitely not studio.h, whoever is typing studio will have to change it later. We declared windows.h, because we need to use the system function. As for std, io.h, I'll show you a dank little trick with printf later. First let's give the console some fancy color. Then clear the screen to make sure everything is nice and cool. Now we will need to use some special characters from the ASCII code table. Pause the video if you want. The numbers we will be using are 177 and 219. Declare the characters as integers with whatever name you want. To make the loading bar looks cooler, we need indentation, see out to print stuff on the screen, backslash n means making a new line, backslash t means tab, a tab is basically similar to space bar. Except there's no cocktail and cigar, xd. Because we are not using std, io.h, just comment it out for debug purposes. More fancy indentation, you can mess around with it, and make it look better. Let's test this bad boy, and see if the world burns down. Brilliant stuff my guys. Here comes the main dish of this loading bar program. To actually have a loading bar, we need to print some stuff on the screen. And the stuff we need to print, will be the 177 and 219 character from the ASCII table. Using a for loop, we can print 25 characters in one go without a fuss. If you are only looping for one statement, you don't need to put curly brackets around it. Now I'll show you what happen, if you only print out the value as integer. This is no good my dudes, we don't do that here. We should convert the integer into character first. Let's test it again. Now, we have a very interesting problem, because each machine is different, they run on different ASCII table. Some might not have this problem, but most people will. To solve this problem, we need to tell the program to use the right code table. In this case, code page 437 is the big juicer we are looking for. If you want more detail, search code page 437 on wiki. Now, use this special function, set console cp, which means code page, to 437. Also set console output cp to 437. Let's try it. Looking pretty solid so far. Now we need to somehow make the character overwrite itself on the screen. To do this, we need backslash r. Which is a carriage return, allows you to bring the flashing cursor back to the beginning of the line, and overwrite whatever is on the screen with new content. Very handy dandy sugar candy. Cool. Be sure to add more indentation. 4 tabs just like before. Now, we need to make the same loop to overwrite the first loading bar with a new loading bar, so that it looks like it is filled up. Basically doing nothing, but to look dank, hee hee xd. Of course, you can add extra code to make the loading bar link to the file loading time. If file loading time is done, then make the bar load a bit more. For teaching purposes, I'll show you what happen if you don't add a delay in the loop. The entire bar just printed out onto the screen. XD. Okay, time to put this loop into sleep. 150 milliseconds sound about right. Testing time. XD. 
Now you see this annoying little cursor bar on the screen. Looks terrible isn't it? This is why we need to use a cheat code from C programming, the one and only, stdio.h, to remove this cursor bar. Printf, and then write the special cheat code backslash e, square brackets, question mark, 25l. You might ask, what the heck is this? Why are you using C programming instead of C++? Trust me fam on this one. It is possible to do it with C++, but there are way too much fuss. Let's keep things simple hee hee xd. Now change studio.h into stdio.h if you haven't already. Looking fine right now. Time to dank this test. I mean, test this dank loading bar. Gorgeous. Let's just add a little bit extra. A little smiley face from the code page 437 can put this program to rest. Convert the first character into char, and a system pause at the end. A little bonus tip, if you want to, you can make this as a function, and reuse it in other programs, so you don't have to type all these bs again. This is it my champs, hope you learned something from this stupid video, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Haha xdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdxdx